Holy cow. We got the bull rider here. There's Larry. Getting a lot done in a day with the two combines. Yesterday we kind of had a shorter day. We didn't really get started turning any corn until 9.30 in the morning. And we ran until about 8.30. And we took out 24 semi loads of corn on a farm where there's a lot of, not super long rows, but they're decently straight and medium sized. But on some of our longer road fields, we should be able to pump more and on longer days. So it's gonna be awesome. Kind of nice working together as a big group. We can get a lot done and it's just a coordinated effort. Just get one field zipped off real quick and then move to the next. What I know is how Larry keeps his throat so clean. Look at mine. Wow, that corn looks good. I'm supposed to go through that. That's normally about this deep. Running into a lot of random mud spots even though the corn's under 15% and it feels pretty dry out everywhere. The occasional wet spot just comes out of nowhere. We got a combine stuck yesterday and then we just got a grain cart stuck now and of course I'm all the way across the field full every time this happens so I can't go see it. 400 acres down, 1200 to go. And I am flying! <laughs> That's a pretty view. Here we go. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, Gotta do some greasing. Morning maintenance is key. <gasps> tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Dusty.
you guys like my new haircut? We're moving corn today. We got done at our further farms that we're going to the co-op. So now we're bringing everything to our home bins. This corn's testing under 15% moisture, so we can just put it straight in. We don't have to run it through the dryer. This saves a lot of time and money. What's kind of nice with these rows being auto steered straight, I don't have to hold on to the steering wheel at all because my combine's going straight and it just stays with the row. The combine doesn't have any sort of guidance system on it. This yield monitor doesn't even work. We're getting fancy around here. I gotta get out and walk around. I'm gonna fall asleep. Front row. <laughs> Under the combine, doctor. The replacement. Good to go. Started the augers this morning, a little bit before seven. Uh, Left for a while. Yeah. Makes a nice lawn ornament. <laughs> we pulled into the drive today, and when you pull in on top of the 50,000 bushel bin, you can see grain coming in, but we couldn't see it. So we knew something was plugged or off or wrong. And then we seen our auger coming out of the wet holding bin was still moving, so we heard and run over, shut everything off. Now I got a nice corn mountain. I like it. This happens at least once a year, as long as I can remember. Just a little bit annoying, but what do you do? What happened was, and then this auger filled with corn and caused it to spin, so the motor burnt the belts off. And we're lucky it didn't happen on the next ones down. We caught it just in time, apparently. But now we got a nice, nice pile. We're going to get a replacement belt for the ones that burned off. And then go get the combine started so we can get some new corn into the wet holding bin. And then we'll deal with this corn mountain tonight. Motor up on top of the big bin we determined puked. Are you sleeping? Wow, he must be pretty tired. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna climb up on top of the bin, undo the bolts, tie it to this rope, lower it down, make sure our bolts match up with the other one. Otherwise we might be having to get a new motor. We'll see. Or make a new bracket. Probably make a new bracket because I don't feel like buying a new motor. Got the new one on. Eat. It's a nice mountain of corn. We muscled that motor up to the top of the bin. And then we turned it on now and it's spinning backwards. So we gotta switch two wires around. Since we're on three phase, if you don't know what three phase is, go look it up because I can't explain it. We just gotta switch three, we gotta switch two wires around. And then we should be golden and ready to go pick some corn. After we do morning maintenance, of course. You may be wondering, Cole, how do you know that motor's bad? This wiggles. It's not supposed to do that. Also, it doesn't spin easy. It should free spin, really. We got the new one up, though. We're good to go. We're gonna get the grain vac and suck this up quick because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and we don't want that to get all wet. So dad's getting that right now and then I'm gonna go get the grain cart and pull under him. Yeehaw! Hi guys. Hi. Hi. I'm going fast. I'm going real fast. Better slow down.
I am sleep deprived and hungry. Real hungry. It's amazing I'm not hangry. Hmm. Maybe I could eat some corn. Hello, beautiful. I missed you. New field! We're in a new field now. It's looking good. spinning a little bit but I think we're okay to go yet and I feel really dumb man how'd I manage that and I got a question for y'all why do semis have such large steering wheels I got small hands but that's a big wheel oh boy that's dirty much better Good morning everybody it rained pretty much all day yesterday and all day today which makes it a good time to do our maintenance on our semis halfway through harvest we need to grease everything on these so anywhere there's a grease zerk I'm gonna put grease on it on these things you really can't put too much grease I mean there are areas you can but a lot of them more grease is better than less so I got six grease zerks to grease on the back four wheels and then on each trap door there's three and then on the fifth wheel plate that takes about a half a tube of grease and then I have all the ones on the front wheels to do as well and there's about ten each side this needs greased so does this and this as well as that and right here here there there here here right here here as well and here good napping spot and then I'll crawl underneath and get the ones down here and then the inside of the cab needs vacuumed out as well as the trash that's in here and man these windows are dirty I like to wear these rubber gloves when I grease that way my hands don't get all nasty Time to do some greasing. Here's Cole's fact of the day. Greaser, like this little guy, that won't take. Apply heat. <laughs> the white Volvo is done. Okay.